What's going on guys? My name is Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fashion and fragrance on this channel. So if you pay attention to me, I'm not going to only have you smelling good. I'm going to have you looking your best as well. So if you're into that kind of content, I hope you won't mind hitting subscribe, man. Make sure you hit that bell icon as well. Uh, that way when I upload new content, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. So on today's video, guys, I'm going to be talking about something uh, that may be a little bit controversial to some of you, but I want to say ahead of time that the fragrances I'm talking about or that I will make mention of first, it's not that I don't like these fragrances. As a matter of fact, I love every last one of them. But some fragrances are just a little bit out of style. They you know they've kind of had their time in the sun. You know, it's like how I talked about Creed Adventures last week. Still my favorite fragrance, but for a lot of people, it's kind of out of style. It's a little bit played out. It came out way back in 2010. And again, I mentioned that as one of the, maybe not the primary reason, but one of the reasons why some people may not be as into it, man. It's just kind of, it's a little bit older now. It's kind of old news. So I'm going to be giving you guys five fragrances that I kind of feel like fit that category. They're kind of out of style, if you will. And I'm going to give you a more modern or up-to-date interpretation of that fragrance. You know, it may not always in each of these scenarios smell like the fragrance, but it will kind of put you in the mindset of it or it's a similar style fragrance that I think is a little bit more modern and appropriate for this year, 2023. So if you want to see what's on my list, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Let's make it happen. It's go time. And by the way, go Boston Celtics. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into this video. Now, the first fragrance up on the list that's a little bit out of style, a little bit out of date, is from the house of Christian Dior. Yep, I'm going to start it off with this one. This one is called Dior Sauvage. Dior Sauvage. Oh, my gosh. Dior Sauvage. <laughs> Listen, I still like this fragrance, and I told you guys a long time ago, regardless of how many people are wearing a fragrance or how popular it becomes it won't stop me from wearing it but i will say that this fragrance when it hit the market in 2015 it took the fragrance world by storm everybody and i mean everybody has this fragrance in their collection or had this fragrance in their collection at one point in time it's a fragrance that the most novice of fragrance people know what this fragrance is they know dior survive they usually say hey you got on survive <laughs> Everybody knows about this fragrance. So in a way, it being out of style is a little bit of a victim of its own popularity. Sometimes we just get tired of hearing about the same fragrance over and over. And I think that's what happened with this fragrance, man. And Broxen is kind of peppery, all those good things going on. It's a great fragrance. But again, I think it's out of style now because so many people have talked about it and worn it. So the alternative, although this one is not super new, and you guys may already know about this one, but... There's a note in here that gives this a modern twist. And I'm talking about the alternative for this fragrance is this one, Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. Luna Rosa Carbon. I have put a great dent in this bottle since I've had it because it is so versatile and easy to wear. Yes, it's going to put you in the mindset of the aforementioned Christian Dior Sauvage, but this has a note of lavender that is a lot more prominent and gives a little bit, I describe it as a more clean, sweeter nuance to that Sauvage DNA. I love carbon. Obviously, a lot of you know that this fragrance kind of resembles uh, Dior Sauvage, but nowhere near as many people talk about it or know about this fragrance. So even if it gives that same familiarity of Dior Sauvage when you wear it and people ask, is that Dior Sauvage? Nope, this is Prada, Luna Rosa Carbon. Sounds even better and more modern. So if you're looking for an alternative in 2023 to Dior Sauvage, look no further than this fragrance from the house of Prada, and this is Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, this fragrance actually came in around the same time as Dior Sauvage. And again, let me be clear. I, I love the fragrances I'm saying are out of style. I still love them. This is still on low key one of my favorite design fragrances. They're from the brand of Versace, and this is Dylan Blue. Dylan Blue. I want to say Dylan Blue came out around 2016, 17, somewhere around there. It was kind of in that Dior Sauvage era of time. And it was another fragrance that kind of capitalized on that blue quote unquote fragrance DNA. 
Um, this one has, uh, well, it has the blue DNA, but this one focuses on a note of fig. There's a note of fig. And like I said, guys, fig to me gives this creamy nuance to fragrances. And I think that's really what put me over the edge. And I still love this fragrance. For really loving uh, Versace Dylan Blue. But again, it came out a while ago. And I have a great alternative for you. I think this fragrance kind of flew under the radar. And it's from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. And this is called K or King. And this is the EDP. Dolce & Gabbana K or King EDP. Listen, the original fragrance was, was okay. But when this one came out, the EDP, I was definitely more of a fan of the EDP. And just like the original fragrance. Now, these fragrances don't smell like, but this one also features that really creamy note of fig. I love fig. I love fig and fragrances. And again, although these are not a one-to-one -one kind of scent, one of the primary notes in uh, Dylan Blue is that fig note. And you get a lot of fig in this fragrance. And I'm telling you guys, if you try the EDT and were not a fan, I say give the EDP a try. To me, it's much better than the EDT. I really like this fragrance. This is highly slept on. This is good, man. Check it out. Check this one out, guys. From the house of Dolce & Gabbana, this is called King or K. And this is the EDP um, version of that fragrance. All right, guys. Now, this next fragrance is a beloved fragrance. And again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but these fragrances that I'm saying are out of style. I still love all, the fra all these fragrances. I'm being honest with you. But again... This one was released in 2006, and as much as it is beloved by me and others, it's a little bit out of style, but this fragrance comes from the house of YSL, and this is the original Loam. The original Loam, again, this is so good. It's still good, guys, but again, it came out in 2006. Nice combination of ginger and citruses in the opening. The, the dry down gets a little bit sweeter. It has some tonka bean in here. I love this fragrance, but if you want to find a good modern alternative to this fragrance look no further than a um flanker from this particular brand released in 2020 this is Lome Le Parfum Lome Le Parfum and this one was released in 2020 and again one of the most slept on fragrances from that brand like I said I don't know if it was because of the pandemic or what but this fragrance got no conversation and it should have because it's amazing you still get what you get from the original loan, but this ozonic accord that it has in here gives this very, that and violet leaves give this, gives, gives this whole DNA a different feel. I really feel like if you look at the bottle, it's kind of indicative of what you get. There's a very blue feel to this fragrance that's not present in the original. A little bit more spicy as well, but I'm telling you guys, compliment magnet. And this is a great um, alternative to that fragrance because again, I still detect the original loan, there's some of those same elements in there, that gender and stuff is still in there. But again, the way that I describe this, the original loan with more of a blue feel to it. That's exactly what this is, and this stuff is great. So a great alternative for the original loan is this, Lone Le Parfum. All right, guys, now this next fragrance, of course, another fragrance that is wildly popular, uh, probably the second most popular fragrance on this list, and this fragrance comes from the house of MFK Mason Francis Kirkjohn. And this, of course, is Baccarat Rouge 540. Baccarat Rouge 540, of course. I talk about this fragrance a lot, and I talk about this whole victim of its own success. This is definitely one of those. One of the most cloned fragrances in the world on this side of Crete Aventus. And there are a lot of fragrances out there that mimic this DNA. It suffers from some of the same things that Crete Aventus suffers from. What is at the core of this fragrance, of course, is going to be that ambergris. That saffron, that ambergris and saffron is really at the heart of the core of what this fragrance is. And I have a great alternative for that fragrance. And this one comes from the brand of Electimus, and this is called Trajan. Trajan. So this one also has saffron. It also has that oak moss, which I think is actually in there in um, Baccarat as well. Uh, but what this one does differently is you get a more citrus opening to the fragrance and they add lavender. So it is very, very close. It very closely resembles Baccarat Rouge 540, uh, but it's a, I would say it's a more modern take on it. So although it's not a full on clone, it's definitely gonna give you uh, Baccarat, um, Baccarat Rouge 540 vibes, but uh, those notes and uh, that I just listed gives a different feel to that Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA. So I think this is a great, more modern interpretation of that fragrance. I primarily love that mandarin orange and lavender in this fragrance, which to me, seemingly those two notes, 
I find that pairing a lot in fragrances and it really, really works. All right, so check this one out, guys. It's from the brand of Electimus. And again, this is called Trajan. All right, and last but not least, I could not do a video like this without talking about Aventus, of course. Um, I gave a lot of commentary on this fragrance last week. If you did not see that fragrance, that video, I will make sure I link it here where I talked about, is this fragrance still the king? So I will spare you guys the details of going through why I feel like this fragrance is kind of out of style and not liked as much anymore and give you a great alternative for this fragrance. And I wanted to go with something that doesn't smell exactly like it because that's very easy to do. But this fragrance from the brand of Tiziana Terenzi is amazing. And this is called Orion. This is called Orion. Now, this particular fragrance, the best way for me to describe it, it's going to give you some vibes of Creed Aventus. But imagine combining Creed Aventus with Hachibot, Hachibot from Nishane. That's exactly what this fragrance smells like. Now, again, Creed Aventus came out in 2010. I want to say this came out around 2018 or 19, somewhere in that area. But guys, this is a great modern alternative, I would say, to Creed Aventus. Again, it doesn't smell exactly like that, but in this case, with this recommendation, that's actually not a bad thing. All right, so check this fragrance out if you're looking for a great alternative, a more modern alternative to Creed Aventus. Check out this fragrance from the house or the brand of Tiziana Terenzi. Again, this one is called Orion. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time, and I appreciate uh, you guys' attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And hey, I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information and find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.